It may be hard to believe, but not long ago, the thought of having a casino in downtown Springfield wasn't even on the radar. Now, just over five years after it opened its doors, word that MGM Casino and Resort may be up for sale. Tonight, we look back on how we came this far and what the future may hold. On a warm summer day back in August 2018, all eyes were on Springfield South End as MGM Springfield opened their doors with parties and a parade. Western Mass News documenting it all. Everyone's so yeah. polite and they're yeah. so excited. Yeah. You can see the smiles on everyone's yeah. face. It had been five years since Springfield voters considered their options among several development proposals. A casino in the North End on the Republican newspaper site built by Penn National Gaming. Or a proposed resort casino in the city's South End operated by MGM Resorts International. The likelihood is that uh, we want the strongest and best deal to put forth uh, to the voters of the city of Springfield and in turn to the gaming commission as you move forward. In the end, voters approved the host community agreement between the city and MGM, paving the way for final approval in 2014 by the Mass Gaming Commission and making it a done deal. Massachusetts had its first official casino operation. In March 2015, MGM officially broke ground with promises of an economic boost for Springfield and surrounding areas, as well as millions of dollars in tax revenue and thousands of local jobs. In short, the largest economic development project the region had seen in generations. But the relationship between MGM and Springfield hasn't been without its challenges. Changes to the development proposal, including downsizing the hotel, parking garage, and the number of market-rate apartments being relocated off-site caused friction with city leaders. Then, less than two years in from its grand opening, the pandemic hit, causing MGM to close for several months. Even after slowly reopening for business once again, gaming revenues and the current number of employees haven't reached their original projections. And gambling doesn't look the same as it did back when MGM Springfield first opened. Online sports betting, now legal here in the Bay State, means gamblers don't need to visit a casino to place a wager. It's a reality acknowledged by MGM International President William Hornbuckle when he visited Springfield in early 2023. We took a bet, and I took a bet, and it was a big one. And frankly, to date, it hasn't gotten where we'd like it to be, but we have not stopped, nor will we stop trying to make this the absolute best that it can be for this community. Whether or not MGM will ultimately find a buyer and sell its Springfield property is anybody's guess at this point. But it looks like the casino giant may be ready to cash in its chips and leave the table.